my name is Kirk Phipps with Hayes Fluid Controls. In this video, we will review the steps needed to replace the internal balancing components of the Hayes 2524 automatic balancing valve. Here is a close-up of the Hayes model 2524 automatic balancing valve. The balancing components are what we consider our measure flow design. In this model, they consist of two potential styles, depending on a flow rate. For lower flow rates, there will be four components. The diaphragm and orifice plate are found within an elongated sculpted brass housing and topped with a metal retaining ring. For higher flow rates, you will find the diaphragm and orifice plate held to a sculpted brass seat by a metal brace. These pieces work in conjunction to limit the total flow to a desired amount, often the maximum GPM allowed through a coil. They can be found inside this portion of the valve body. To access the current diaphragm and orifice plate, you will need to use a wrench to loosen the cap, then remove it entirely by twisting it off with your fingers. This cavity is empty in this example to demonstrate both scenarios. Once open, to unthread the sculpted brass housing, you can use a wrench or a pair of channel lock pliers. For the higher flow rates, you will need to use this ratchet tool to properly and easily remove the balancing components. This can be ordered through haze. Based on the newly desired flow rate, the replacement balancing components will have been sent to you and will resemble the items in this bag. Insert the new internals into the valve by threading the brass housing or brass seat into the valve cavity. Reattach the cap and tighten with a wrench to complete the process.